live over the weekend video clip and it's Saturday the 6th of February and we're starting with the DAX this morning. Um, the pattern here is quite a strange one. We've got five waves up from the low. Clearly suggesting we've got more upside to come uh, with a target of at least, let's see, we've got to move over, over a thousand points. So this is a low, then around 11,000 is, is a likely move. Uh, sorry, I mean the 12,000 of course. Um, however, they've got five waves down here, which again suggests there's more downside to come to complete an ABC. Uh, they've got five waves up here, which is a bit of a surprise. Uh, it could be we're seeing an irregular correction with an A, uh, an ABC, which may well see new highs for this move, and then a C wave sell off to see a more complex correction um, before we see the next actual uh, impulsive move to the upside. But long term, I mean, medium term positive action, uh, we just need to see. Uh, the end of this correction. It, it could be here, but it's a uh, I mean, five waves down is not normally a correction. It's normally something that continues. Um, so a little bit of confusion on the DAX at the moment. Foot is a bit cleaner from the low here, which A B clear A B C decline. So we've got one A B C two, uh, possibly a one bit of a blip there, but maybe two three four five. So we could be seeing the um, could be seeing wave three to the upside nearly over uh, before a fourth wave correction comes in and then a fifth wave rally. So again, positive, um, you know, look at my opportunities. It's uh, it's just a question of the, the pattern clearing itself. All right, the Dow just keeps going up, so we've got a clear one, two here. One, two, possible three to here. Four maybe, and one, two, three, four, five. So again, a case that uh, there is um, a correction due at this point. Looking at the longer terms of the Dow, we're now above the 78.6 retracement level, which is a pretty good performance. Um, so we're now at resistance marked by the all time high around uh, 269.50, to, I mean 27,000 as it were. Um, so I think a pullback now makes sense, but uh, Dow's clearly being fairly dynamic right now. Right, gold, uh, no change of opinion here. The count's been in place for a while now. One, two, one, two, three, four, down to there. Uh, fifth wave. Um, so what's happening with the current correction? All right, well, the correction started from 13.20 uh, odd, 26, I think. Uh, ABC down to there, ABC to there, and then a truncated move down to there to make a flat correction. Um, if this is a wave five. It's too small to be a be a major wave two. Um, I think anyway from 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 the very low. I mean, it's possible, I suppose. Um, but certainly this is impulsive. So it looks like we're interested in new highs. Um, so I guess this could be a wave five from the very beginning. That's probably the best count. In fact, uh, this this is this is a fairly decent uh, count up here. One and two. Well, it could be a four there actually with a rather rather bigger. I mean. That's, that's too big in a way to be the fourth wave uh, as opposed to this, this second wave. Again, it's possible. So it could be we're seeing the, the final wave. I think we're going to go high at this point. I think we're going to see new highs. Um, and that's going to be something in the fifth wave. Quite how it fits in, I'm not sure. Um, if this is actually the whole of the two wave, then that would be, sorry, the whole of the fourth wave. That would be quite, um, quite impressive after all we've seen. The gold needs to correct so little. Anyway, so it's still very positive. Um, there could be another correction along the way, but uh, I'm seeing a very decent move in gold later on this year, which I'll be pinpointing when I see the uh, the pattern develop. All right, finally, Bitcoin, which is just going sideways as it has been now for a couple of weeks or so. Um, we have got the one, two, three. Uh, this could be a four, but it's a very, very prolonged fourth wave. Um, Nothing to say really. Um, I mean, I listen to quite a few people on, on Bitcoin, um, and one of these is determined we're going to see new lows uh, and, and claims to have uh, good contacts with people who would know, knows all this would cause such things to happen. Um, I think if we do go low, it'll be a fairly short lived affair. You know, it, it tends to be a very positive environment in the sense that good news just keeps coming out. There's a infrastructure being built all the time. So it's only a matter of time, I think, before we see this rally. Um, but there's no real sign of it just yet. 
All right, that's all for today. Hope that introduced all back to the report on uh, Tuesday for subscribers. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening and bye.